I would be given, which is very important, is working after school, is permanent residency. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miramos here and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Thank you guys for stopping by and in today's video, we'll be talking about tips on countries you should focus on when you are considering applying to universities or applying to schools, be it undergrad, be it grad, any of these categories, just tips on definitely be considering when you are applying for any university. Without further ado guys, let's get straight into today's video. So guys, I will be giving you different tips based off of my discretion. I am by no means a professional migration expert or any of those stuff, but I just felt like sharing my own experience on tips and tricks that would be necessary for you to consider when you are planning on applying to a new um, environment for school. The very first tip that I want to give is consider the living expenses versus the funds for accommodation. These schools, when they provide you certain stipend amount or certain um, scholarship, you need to consider how much you are willing to put in. Because at the end of the day, if you are giving like $12,000 stipend in place A and you're giving $12,000 stipend USD in the place B, and the cost of living in place A is surpassingly higher than living in place B. Obviously, $12,000 for an amount of time would go a long way in place B than in place A. So even though they are giving you similar or equivalent amount, you should know that this amount of money or this specific amount of money that has been given to you, even though the equivalent would not last you the same in both places so definitely consider living expenses consider accommodation and all of those stuff and how much you are willing to put in before moving to certain locations for school the second tip that i'll be giving you is a no-brainer the weather if you are cool with certain temperatures and i know canada for instance living there in specific locations in canada is because of the cold and weather is definitely one of the factors you should factor in or consider when you are choosing a location for school so definitely consider the weather as well the third tip i would be giving which is very important is working after school a lot of people plan to go back home you know to work in their home countries after school but a lot of people also don't want to go back home they want to work in the country that they've schooled so that opportunity should definitely be something you should consider when you are applying on going abroad or going out of your um, vicinity to school you should definitely consider how important it is or how feasible it is to get work after school i know a couple of countries like uk or ireland have a flexibility you should definitely check it out and do more research on that but i know uk ireland and the us definitely you should check it out how the options are in terms of getting work after school like i said i'm not an immigration expert so i don't really want to put more information in terms of the nitty gritties involved i just know that these countries do provide a certain amount of flexibility in terms of international students working after the duration of their education is completed so the fourth tip or the fourth consideration you should give when you are looking at schools that you should definitely be applying to is the scholarship and low tuition so scholarship and low tuition is also a no-brainer when international students like us are looking at schooling abroad In us i know canada europe especially hungary and norway do provide a lot of good scholarships and low tuition for international students as well so these countries amongst many is what you, you should definitely consider when you are planning on studying abroad the fifth and the final point that i want to give in today's video for uh, tips on how you should select countries for schooling is permanent residency Yes, permanent residency. Which of these countries actually, because like I said, a lot of people want to school and go back to their hometown or their home country, but most often than not, international students want to settle down in the country that they've come to school in by means of getting work and further getting permanent residency. So I know for a fact that Canada does provide post-graduation work programs. You should definitely check out those options as well new zealand as well australia for specific programs not all of the programs germany i know you must secure a job after your final exam and have a b1 language proficiency to be eligible for permanent residency in germany germany is actually very expensive you should definitely know how to navigate through because i know 
you can work up to 90 days a year you should definitely check that out and be sure that you have the eligibility and you have the documentation that are required for you to stay and work and work towards getting your permanent residency in germany as well i know singapore is one of the shortest way as well for you to get permanent residency as a student because if you get scholarships from government organizations a lot of government organizations that have treaties with certain countries do provide scholarships by means of further getting work and then work on how you can get permanent residency as well in these countries like i said i'm by no means an immigration expert but I just feel like coming around and sharing this information and tips. Definitely do your research. Definitely go to the official government's website of these countries that I've mentioned to know how you can legally and um, safely navigate these processes. So guys, I hope this is of help and um, see you in my next video, guys. Bye.